for extraordinary heroism and actions against the enemy while serving on a four-man SR element with SEAL Delivery Vehicle Team 1, Naval Special Warfare Task Unit, Afghanistan from 27 to 28 June 2005. Petty Officer Dietz demonstrated extraordinary heroism in the face of grave danger in the vicinity of Asadabad, Kunar Province, Afghanistan. Operating in the middle of an enemy-controlled area in extremely rugged terrain, his SR element was tasked with locating a high-level ACM leader. In support with the follow-on direct action mission to disrupt enemy activity. On June 28, 2005, the element was supported by ACM sympathizers who immediately revealed their position to militia fighters. As a result, the element directly encountered the enemy. Demonstrating exceptional resolve and fully understanding the gravity of the situation and his responsibility to his teammates, Petty Officer Dietz fought valiantly against the numerically superior and positionally advantaged enemy force. Remaining behind a hailstorm of enemy fire, Petty Officer Dietz was wounded by enemy fire. Despite his injuries, he bravely fought on, valiantly defending his teammates and himself in a harrowing gunfight until he was mortally wounded. His undaunted courage in the face of heavy enemy fire and absolute devotion to his two teammates, Petty Officer Dietz, will long be remembered for the, war he, the role he played in the global war on terrorism. Petty Officer Dietz's courageous and selfless heroism, exceptional professional skill, and utmost devotion to duty reflected great credit upon him and in, in were in keeping with the heavy, highest traditions of the naval service of the United States. He gallantly gave his life for the cause of freedom. Now that is the citation for uh, Danny Dietz's Navy Cross. This is an impression that's kind of special to me. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am from Colorado. I am from Denver. And I went to the same uh, MEPS as Danny Dietz, when I enlisted in the Marine Corps, as he did when he enlisted in the Navy. Um, there's a lot of memorial stuff for him here. There's a statue in a park near where he lived in Littleton, and there's a section of Platte, where Platte River Drive that is uh, renamed the Danny Dietz Memorial Highway in his honor as well. So um, this one's kind of near and dear to me. Uh, I remember hearing about uh, what happened in Operation Red Wings when I was younger, like really younger. And I've read several books about it before reading Lone Survivor and watching the movie when that came out. So uh, it's always something that's intrigued me. It's always something that I've had the utmost respect for. Um, and I truly believe that Danny Dietz reflected uh, upon my city and my state very well uh, as what we can produce, the caliber of warriors that can come from Colorado.